Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Grafenberg and this is my Reddit AMA. What player growing up did you model your game after? Yeah, when I was young, I looked up to like the, the big, bigger players like Messi and Ronaldo. When I became older, like 17, 18, I was looking like video clips of Zinedine Zidane. If I have to choose a player, it will be Zinedine Zidane. How have you been enjoying the city of Liverpool so far? If I'm really honest, I didn't went a lot outside yet because we have a lot of games. But uh, I went to a few restaurants when I was in the hotel the first week and uh, it was good, it was good. I really enjoyed it. Is there anything you're looking forward to try British food wise? Type of code, British chips. Fish and chips? Yeah. yeah I want to try it, yeah. Also the, the, the breakfast like the eggs with beans, eh? that's also the typical British thing. <laughs> The site is Hux. How important was Jürgen in bringing you to us? If you two spoke before, what was your conversation like in terms of selling you on the move? Like I spoke, uh, I spoke with the, uh, the coach and uh, he gave me like a good feeling. He, he, he said to me, yeah, I want you. And uh, he gave me his plans and he explained everything. And he gave me such a good feeling that uh, my decision was like a, a fast one. A lot of people as well, Ryan, were mentioning about the chin rub versus West Ham. How do you feel about the chin uh, rub? I yeah. saw it went fire. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, uh, he did it, but Curtis came to the side and I was laughing to Curtis. So, so uh, he, if you saw the video, it was like, he did this and that. I, I laughed about that, but it was I was laughing to Curtis, that's why. <laughs> How much did Furch influence your move, if at all? Yeah, I spoke a little bit with Furch and yeah, he said Liverpool is like a top club and you're going to play for Shaw sure. and yeah, he said a little uh, things to me and, and also that gave me a good feeling to come here. How are you finding the Scouse accent? How is your Scouse accent, lad? <laughs> um, if I'm honest, I have to, when, when they speak, sometimes I say like, huh? I have to Thing, 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 and then I understand it. So um, maybe in a couple of weeks I will, uh, will get used to it, you know. And my Scouse accent, it's it's, well, it's okay, but maybe if I'm longer here, you know, I will I will speak it also, you know. Go on, give us a bit of Scouse. What does Trent sound like? Hey, you're alright, mate. <laughs> you're alright, mate. <laughs> okay, lot. <laughs> okay, lot. <laughs> Does virtual translate robo for you, or have you been taking lessons? <laughs> if I'm honest, sometimes robo, also Ben Dog, they are difficult to understand. <laughs> but when I when I listen like carefully, like then I will understand it, you know. Who among the team has surprised you during training or in games, and what did they do to surprise you? I think it was dumb. So it was like because this guy is shot. It's it's. it's I think you saw it yesterday. It's, this is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's shot also in training. Sometimes you shoot after the training, and it's like one, two, three. Oh, they go all in and, and, and like crazy things. So I think it's dumb with this shot. Have you had the meal at Weather Spoons? What? <laughs> it's like a pub chain in 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 England where people go and have like classic British food. Ah, no, not yet, not yet. Keep it that way, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favourite ex-Liverpool player? Of course, for Steven Gerrard. But also, like uh, I played with him at Byron, Sadio Mane. I think I have a few. Any reasons for choosing? to wear number 38 at Liverpool as well as Bayern and Ajax. My decision for 38 was because I made my debut in, in Ajax with 38. Yeah, when I went to Bayern, I chose also 38 because uh, yeah, I have something something special with that number because I made my debut. And um, I think um, I will keep wearing 38 for, I think, all my life. What was the funniest player in the squad? <laughs> I think I go for Robo. I saw when uh, you first arrived, Andy Robertson said, Finally, a good Dutch player. You okay, brother? Good Dutch player. <laughs> <laughs> you make a lot of jokes. <laughs> yeah. 
or would you rather fight on bear sized duck or 10 duck sized bears? <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna run away, man. <laughs> I don't <laughs> fight, bro. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. If you and the Dutch gang could recruit another compared to Liverpool, who would you want it to be and why? I don't know. I think I, I go maybe for like a good friend of mine here in Timber because I play like uh, my whole life with him and yeah, he's like a brother to me, so that's why I chose him. Most talented young star you played alongside? Uh, this one I go for Jamal Mushala. <laughs> he does crazy things also in training and also in the game. So uh, he's very good for his age. So I will, I will choose uh, Jamal Mushala. Do you think Jamal can win a Ballon d'Or? I think one time in his life, yeah. Yeah, he, of course he will improve, improve, and, and uh, will be better. So I think he has a good chance. What is your favorite music to listen to when getting pumped up for a big game? One thing um, Liverpool always doing is like uh, the song from Rihanna, Kanye West and Jay-Z before the game. And when I started they can West him, I was on the bench, but like I felt something in me like, wow, you know, this, from this I get like, uh, like it's so, such a good feeling to go on the pitch and, and want to win the game, you know? So not maybe the favorite music, but I go for that song, you know? Thanks for sending your questions. I hope you enjoyed my AMA.